Warning, this video contains disturbing scenes such as footage of animal cruelty. Please refrain from watching if it causes you any uncomfort. Canada Goose today and this Canada Goose. Baby newsroom, Canada Goose. This unrecognizable brand makes Canada Goose codes the latest hot item on the counterfeit market. What is this? Why is it getting so much attention? Well, for that, we have to go all the way back to the 1950s. A young man by the name of Sam Tick started to build what is now a billion dollar industry. In 1970, Metro Sports Limited started to introduce downfield jackets to protect in even minus 30 degree weather. In 1980, the company started making custom-made jackets for extreme weathers for the army and park rangers. In 1982, Laurie Skresler was the first Canadian to summit Mount Everest wearing a Canada Goose jacket. In the year 1990, Metro Sports Limited expanded in Europe under the name Canada Goose. In the early 2000s, Sam Tick's son-in-law, David Reese, joined the company and eventually got promoted as a CEO. After becoming the CEO, David Reese mainly focused on promoting coyote fur and downfield jackets. In 2007, Canada Goose started to get famous and well known in the film industry as most popular actors and movie stars preferred Canada Goose in the winter. We teamed up with Peter. Let's see what they think about Canada Goose and animal cruelty. My name is Sasha Camilli and I am the Media and Special Projects Coordinator at PETA. I've been working at PETA for about four and a half years and I work on spreading our message in the international press in European countries and I also work on many of PETA's high profile fashion campaigns. Um, the way we would define cruelty to animals is anything that would cause any harm, damage or um, unnecessary pain to an animal, including killing animals. And cruelty to animals is commonplace in many of the systems we have today which use them, such as food, fashion, experiments, entertainment and others. Cruelty to animals is a concern because just like us, animals are sentient beings and anything that causes them unnecessary suffering is a concern because they have the ability to feel fear and pain just like we do. There is definitely a connection between people who harm animals and people who harm other humans. So there's been lots of research into criminology and psychology showing that people who harm animals rarely stop there. Most of them go, go on to harm humans as well. There's been a study in Australia showing that 100% of sexual homicide offenders had a history of harming animals. And studies done on humans that have abused animals also showed that they have higher levels of aggression towards humans as well. So action has been taken against the cruelty of Canada Goose. Many compassionate consumers have spoken out against their practices. And after PTUS filed a federal commission's uh, trade complaint last year, um, Canada Goose has actually changed the marketing claims on its website where it told customers that it can ensure that the animals in its supply chain are treated humanely. More and more people are realizing that there isn't any way to humanely produce down or fur and so they're increasingly choosing the other outerwear brands that are leading the way in ethically produced cruelty-free vegan outerwear. So brands such as Canada Goose um, kill animals for fashion such as coyotes and geese because they're stuck in a time where it wasn't considered as tasteless and heartless to drape yourself in the skin of dead animals as it is today because people simply didn't know better a while ago but now we have access to all this information about how these animals are treated and how they live and die for fashion and so consumers are increasingly choosing brands that choose not to harm animals in their production. The only way to force Canada Goose and brands, other brands that do harm and abuse animals for fashion is to take away what matters the most to them, which is their profit. When customers stop giving money to brands that abuse animals for fashion, they will have no choice but to be forced to get with the times and produce cruelty-free vegan fashion that consumers want to buy and wear. The ways that coyotes suffer for Canada Goose are really horrendous. So they're killed using these steel jaw traps that slam down on their bones and sometimes cut all the way to the bone. And these traps are so cruel that it's actually illegal to use them in the European Union. But we can still import fur that's been uh, produced using these traps. And 
animals that are caught in these traps for Canada goose can legally suffer for up to 72 hours from lacerations, broken bones, hemorrhages, until the trapper comes and commonly beats them to death. And this is all in line with Canada goose uh, standard practices. So geese are sentient animals and it's important to keep them protected because they, just like other animals, just like the dogs and cats we have at home, are able to feel fear and pain. Geese don't get the chance to do any of that. Uh, they live in filthy, crowded conditions and as PETA exposés have showed on numerous occasions, uh, workers often pluck the feathers from their bodies while they're still alive and fully conscious. So when the feather feathers are ripped out, sometimes it leaves gaping bloody wounds which are either just left as they are or sewn up with a needle and thread and often when you support the buying of down what else you're supporting is the foie gras industry and the way foie gras is produced which is uh, foie gras is a dish which is a fatty goose liver and it's produced by force feeding these birds with a tube rammed down their throats and they're force feed corn until their liver swells up to up to 10 times its normal size There is a war outside. Come see the bullets fly. So you hear the battle cry. The Warning, this video contains disturbing scenes such as footage of animal cruelty. Please refrain from watching if it causes you any uncomfortable. Stand behind the lines oh, 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 oh. Battle between dark and light Time for the great to die Come on, we all must choose a side oh, 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 oh. 